What's cracking YouTube? Hope you're all doing really well. Super excited for today's video because I've finally got my hands on a tool that I've wanted to play around with for quite some time now. That is the Loop Deck CT, which I have here. So the Loop Deck CT stands for Creative Tool. Now you can use this thing with pretty much most creative software. You can use it with Lightroom, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Ableton if you're a music producer, even things like Photoshop and loads of others. So for me in this video, I'm going to be focusing on how to use it with Lightroom Classic, all the different tools and features. A bit of a disclaimer before we dive into this one that this video is sponsored by Loop Deck and they have sent me this device. Take from that what you will, sponsored or not, I do aim to always make videos that will hopefully benefit you guys and benefit my audience so I think this is a tool that will really benefit a lot of people but rather than review this I'm going to show you what's actually possible and all the different features that you can use for photo editing then you can decide if it's right for you or not I will say for me personally that it's already really sped up my workflow after only using it for about a month now now that wasn't straight away it probably took a good week or two of editing a fair bit in Lightroom to get the hang of it definitely slowed me down a little bit until I got the hang of it but then pretty quickly it's worth it first of all straight out of the box the thing just works literally download the software plug it in and away you go I usually do spend a good amount of time editing at cafes and out about I haven't been able to do that yet but I'm definitely going to be taking this with me. So for someone who doesn't like having a lot of stuff on the desk, the overall size of the Loop Deck CT is really great, especially if you compare it to some of the older Loop Decks. It also looks really nice and sleek. And also when you're adjusting all the wheels and dials, even the touch screens, the response and kind of the tactile feel, everything feels like it's really well built and it's actually pretty fun using. So we're gonna jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you all the different buttons and dials on the Loop Deck CT here and show you what you can do with each of them so the first thing that I wanted to show you even jumping between apps straight away the loop deck screen and buttons will change it will recognize what app you're in automatically and be there ready to go even in Lightroom if I switch across between develop come back to library straight away it automatically recognizes that even if you're in develop and making some adjustments to any of the sliders or anything, it will automatically open those up on the screen. So super intuitive, super smart, and it does it really quickly. So there's no lag, which is really great as well. So these buttons one through eight here will display the different workspaces on the loop deck. For navigating the Lightroom library module, we want to have this workspace one open. So here you've got thumb size, so we can increase the size of the images there. If we come into the individual view, we can zoom into our images if we like. I'm gonna go through and star, so I'm gonna press two star on this one, come across to the next, two star, come across. Then if we come back to our grid view and I hit filter, we can see those image selects that I've just made, the ones I wanna go through and edit. So I haven't gone through and edited a real large batch of photos with the loop deck yet, but I'm actually really keen to edit, say a wedding for example, because it is gonna make it so much easier and quicker making selections, culling down your images. So let's hit number two, which will bring me over to develop. Here on the basic adjustment page on the loop deck, you've got all your dials here where you can adjust most of your basic settings. Those you can't find if you scroll down, you find them there. Here we've also got access to jump into our tone curve, noise reduction, sharpening, vignetting, everything you need basically. If we come across to three, this is where all your color grading options are. You've even got camera calibration, you've got your local tools. You can also swipe down through all the different HSL colors here and then use your dials to adjust those, which is really handy. So the fourth page here, I've actually gone and customized with all my presets. It's really easy to customize here. If I open up the Loop Deck app, you can see how easy it is to drag and drop. Let's just remove this. Show your presets on the side here. I can literally just drag and drop whatever I want to show up on that Loop Deck screen. So let's go in and start editing this image. I'm gonna come back to library and just hit auto tone on this one because I do often use this feature and it's really handy there having it on one click. Come back to library and I'm gonna start making some adjustments doesn't look quite straight so if I come across to five I've also got auto transform there it's done a really good job let's just hit 
constrained crop, which will just make sure none of those edges are missing. And then I'm gonna come back to two to start making some basic adjustments. I'm actually gonna come into the tone curve and just make some adjustments there. So here we can adjust our sliders, or if we like, we can just use our mouse. So I'm just gonna do that there first. And then I can come back and make those subtle adjustments using the loop deck wheel. Just gonna go through and finish making those adjustments there. So, so far we've got before and after. That's the other thing that's really handy. Seven is automatically before and after, and six here is our space bar. So coming back to that main screen, I can start adjusting all the different basic sliders as well. So I can change the exposure there, just bring down those highlights a little bit, bring up my shadows, maybe come down to my blacks, just darken those a little bit. And I'm just gonna reduce the clarity and also the texture a little bit. So before and after. So I'm pretty happy with those basic adjustments. Now I'm gonna jump across to the third page, which is our color grading options. So first thing I wanna do is come down to camera calibration. Here I can just tweak my red hues a little bit, maybe boost those a fraction as well. Then I'm gonna come down to blue, which a lot of this image is, and shift that more towards teal. And saturation, I'm happy with that. So come back to our main screen. Here I can start making adjustments to the individual colors with these HSL dials as well. So I'm gonna click on aqua and blue to bring out my aqua and blue sliders. Of course you can drag this as well. So I just wanna reduce maybe the saturation fraction, play around with luminance. I'm just gonna darken the blue luminance on that one play around with aqua, I might actually decrease color in aqua. Now you can easily reset these just by clicking them as well. That'll bring it back to zero, which is a really handy feature as well. Hue, I'm pretty happy with the overall hue there. I might reset that one as well. So before and after, image is looking okay in terms of how I want it to look. So let's come back up to maybe our red and orange dials. Actually, we're gonna go yellow. Remember, you can swipe here as well. Yellow, I'm just gonna bring that color of the jacket slightly more towards orange. Probably about there. And the next thing I wanna do on this image is actually add in a radial filter. So on the second page here, I've got my radial filter option. Use my mouse to click and add that in. I've got a couple of saved kind of radial presets here. I'm just gonna use subject. But then I can go in with the loop deck and make some further adjustments to that radial filter. So I'm just gonna bring up the shadows a little bit, maybe bring up the exposure a fraction, bring up my texture and clarity. Again, I've got a second page there of tools. So I've got my before and after there. I'm just gonna hit enter to get out of my radial filter. So here I just wanna add in a graduated filter. I can just click on that button there, which will open up the graduated filters. This one I wanna zoom out and just bring that nice and heavy at the top. Hit that space bar to zoom in. And again, that'll open up all these options here to adjust. So here I'm just really pushing that dehaze down to increase the fog at the top there. Hit enter, just hit my space base bar again and I'm pretty happy with this image I might just bring up the shadows all right so I'm pretty happy with that I've got before and after last thing I wanted to do if I want to crop this for Instagram I'm going to come across to five I've got my different overlays I want to come down and I've got four by five there I can then just use my mouse to make my selection hit enter so there we have a completed edit using the loop deck only. What I would suggest every time you find yourself reaching for your keyboard or you can't find a tool that you want to on the loop deck, just note it down, open up the loop deck software. So easy to add it in like I did with my presets, wherever you want to that give you easy access to those keys. The next thing I wanna show you is working with presets because unlike this edit that I've just done quickly here, Often I do use presets. So to start this one, I'm gonna to come to library, just hit auto tone, which will adjust that nicely so I can see what my preset will actually look like. Come across to four where I've got all my presets saved. I can simply just select which preset I wanna apply. I might go with 
this particular option here. I can then come back to two where all my basic adjustments are, fix it up as I want there. So I'm just boosting the exposure, maybe bring up the shadows a little bit, bring down my highlights and just boost that exposure a little bit more. Come down to my blacks and just bring those blacks down a bit as well. So I'm pretty happy with that so far. I'm just going to go in and add a radial filter again around the subject. A really quick edit using a preset as well. So the other thing I love about Loop Deck, if you're editing similar photos, if I come across to the next image there, I can easily just hit paste from previous and it's gonna copy those exact settings across. I can do that on any images that look the same, come across to another one. And again, just hit paste from previous. And I've got that edit there ready to go. I can go and tweak it as you kind of see fit. So I am finding myself using that button a lot as well. So what I've been doing when editing with the loop deck, pretty much just editing with the mouse and the loop deck. If I was editing in say Premiere Pro, which I haven't had the chance to use the loop deck too much yet, I would probably have the loop deck next to my keyboard so I can still type in text and search through different effects, things like that, but still have easy access to the loop deck. Something like Lightroom like this, I've found that I don't need the keyboard because you can add in all those keyboard shortcuts. So there we have photo editing on the Loop Deck CT. Thanks so much for watching. This has been a really fun video to make. So thanks to Loop Deck for sending me over the device as well. Keep creating, keep growing. I'm TK North, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.